26 genomes islands, 14 the same location genome, but another one that's spreading depends on each one. And also we identify some genetic island with the SPM in two, two genomes we have, we are able to identify two copies of the SPM genes, I don't know where they are, but uh, we have two copies of these genes and one copy in these other genomes. And as we, we perform our micro dilution experiments, and we can see here that they are they are resistant to beta lactam. That's the that uh, is the less change uh, the antibiotic for these persons. Not uh, rest is susceptible also so to acetraza, but acetraza is not uh, a substrate for this antibiotic. And then finally, we identify some crispy cow systems in this bacteria, and this is maybe that they, they promote that this bacteria can't be so stable in this hospital for so many years because they have the crispy cow system. We are validating this in the labs in the in the group with the São Paulo group. We also work in the with the Fundação Merrier in France. There's a, there is a network that the name Gabriel that involves a lot of country in the, the countries of the third world. China also belongs to the network and we work with the people with uh, Bangladesh, uh, and, uh, India is also belong to the network. And at this case we are looking for a study the Salmonella TV that is in from the patients. Uh, we recover uh, from the patient in the Dhaka Children's Hospital in order to understand the resistance to antibiotics. We uh, sequenced 73 isolates of Savanella Tifti here and uh, assembly annotated the genomes. We found a lot of resistance to a new antibiotics and uh, we are able also to identify new plasmid that carry this resistance to antibiotics. We are also working with the Klebsiella pneumonia, Marisa Nicolas, that is a, a researcher here is in the group, who is the leader of this project. She, we are working with the KPC, that is the resistance bacteria. We sequence some genomes, we identify in the same way another resistance, and we go more than that because we are looking for uh, targets for antimicrobial development, and so we are using data from genomics, trans transcriptomics, and structuromics, and metabolical information in order to identify identif some candidate to drug standards using this model. And at the end, I think we have six or seven candidate models that we are studying now. Marisa and Reinaldo, they is also a postdoc in the group. That we are also studying another bacteria to, to, to try to, under, to, to, to look for more uh, antibiotic uh, models. So we are also working the metagenomics. We, this is Luciano, this is postdoc here. This is the person that uh, we are helping us to, to identify, to work in this in this project, though, so we are looking for a sandwich on genomics identification, some metabolic pathways. We have already worked in the viroma with uh, the, the Gabriel uh, network, with the Mehe uh, Foundation. We are doing some, we have already done some metagenomics in different types of soils, water, uh, escargo, and mangrove, and uh, soil, except the so soil beans, etc. And we have a, a pipeline for the metagenomics that's in running in the Santos Dumont uh, because we are going to uh, start uh, a new project uh, uh, related to biotechnology apply applying to oil and gas. And uh, with the Petrobras, is our main company of oil in Brazil, we start a, a project uh, to identify the biodiversity of Bahia de Santos in Rio de Janeiro. And with Petrograd, that is a company, an oil company from, uh, from Portugal, we have already done some project we finished last month and we identify biotechnological and potential antibiotic enzymes and biosurfactants in this project. So we will start, Luciana Siapini, that's researching the group, working together in this project. We will, we will have more than same station. We will sequence the metagenome for the sentiments, water in two periods. We will analyze 1,200 
sample uh, is a huge project. We will have a sonography project to involve people from chemistry, physics, and geology, and the LNCC will be part uh, of the biological study of this network. So as I told you, in Petrograd, we, we sequence and we analyze the metagenomics from the northeast, the campus that Petrograd ha has in Brazil. And we are able to identify a new bacteria, a protobacteria. I cannot show the name of the bacteria. We are trying to, to, to verify, but he degraded hydrocarbons in a very, very fast way. So that's very interesting. We are also working with, uh, I have to move fast, uh, we are also, yeah, oh, it's not happening here, something's happened, but we are working with the birds. Uh, we have sequenced the parrots that uh, share with the humans some genetic change for a critical brain. So we identify some genes. Uh, I have a, another one with the, the photograph of. Um, Andre, that is the, the postdoc that is responsible for this project. And we identify some genes that are linked to the cognitive function that is very, very similar in humans. So we compare here the three birds that is a long life. And uh, when we compare with the genomes, uh, human genomes, we can see that they, are, they, they have the same uh, accelerated evolution in these genes on these regions. And we continue with the birds. We are now sequencing and studying the oxymes, the subiocines, that is this, the songbird. And we are comparing the, the birds that's not singing. And this subiocines is, is not so sequencing in the world. We don't have any data, so we are studying these Brazilian birds. Continue with the Zika, we pass to the, the humans. So we, we start to, to study the microcephaly. For the outbreak in 2015, we had a lot of children that uh, dead. So someone is stillborn that uh, that have the congenital Zika syndrome. And then with, with uh, three postdocs in the, in the lab, Guilherme, uh, Ajo, and uh, we, we start to work, integrate the data from the exome. We see some, 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 some stillborn babies, <coughs> and we integrate with the transcriptome proton cadet from another hospital, uh, another group in Rio. That's this work is also with Fiocruz, in this case, with the hospital in Fernando Figueira. So we have sequenced five stillborn. <coughs> we use some variants, some methodology in order to analyze more than 8 million reads for paroxone and we map uh, in the genome to try to identify what, which genes that we have some uh, SNPs, some, some mutation. And we, at the end, we found some genes that are the collagen genes that are involved in this study. And when we compare with the data with the transcriptome, the proteomic analysis, and when we perform the histopathological analysis, we confirm that we have the, the loss of collagen fiber. If you can see here, this is a normal uh, babies that we have the, the fiber of collagen here in red, and here the, the, the babies with, the, the, with Zika, we cannot find the collagen fibers, and for that reason the brain is complete, completely uh, spread. This is a very interesting and involve uh, another uh, institute in Brazil, not only in Rio, but also in Campina Grande, where we had a lot of uh, break of Zika. We continue to work with zero infection. I, I don't have time to talk about that, that but with, uh, also with the Institute of Jolly Cruz and Fiocruz, we are working with the thymus and the muscle tissue. We infect some cells, we have some analyze, and then the end, if you, I don't know if you can see here, but we have the expression of genes that are related to the organization of the matrix, of, uh, extracellular matrix, that is a very important for, uh, we also can hit the collagen gene here, but we also have the response to the virus or some uh, uh, negative regulation for the, the moon system and etc. And uh, here is uh, the genes that are down-regulating this case, the very interesting, that are the histones that is are involved in the regulation of the whole genomes at, at all. We performed the same study for the Zika, and now we start with 
o Otávio, é, 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 to infect the Astros do Business Approach with uh, the group of uh, Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro, and we infect going to the Arvo virus we, that we have now in Brazil, a lot of chikungunya, maiar, orus, push, and zika. We infect the Astros that are neurological cells in order to compare the infections of these different virus. And uh, working with the personalized medicine, we are working with the Fernandes Figueira Institute and another hospital in Rio to identify the primary immunodeficiency. We are sequencing the patient, children uh, that have some problem in immunodeficiency primary to understand better the, the, the disease. So we are sequenced here, we are doing some control processing the data and making the prioritization and looking for some type of disease. In this case, it is a, a, a gammoglobulinemia disease and that's the genes, these genes that is responsible for that. We identify a new SNPs in these genes, but doing the exomes experiments, we are able to identify another genes, maybe they are involved in, in, this, in this case. And also we have a portal, via bioinformatic portal project. Carrie uh, uh, and Carl are, Carl Car that work with bioinformatic and Carl that work with HPC we will present. We develop a bioinformatic portal that uh, is, is, is a program that uh, is what the Ministry of Science Technology that supported this project and is a portal for the whole community in Brazil that is using bioinformatics, uh, using the, the capacity of the Santos Dumont. We also developed a lot of database that are available, and there are, there, these are some of them in differ, different areas. We can talk a, a little bit more about that. We are also doing services for sequencing bioinformatic analysis at the lab. And this is our, the, in the last year, the main institution that we had collaboration in 2018 and the beginning of this year. And now I have the pleasure to include the Beijing Institute of Genomics in the international collaboration that we have with some groups in French, in, Euro in Europe, and in South America, and now with China. Thank you very much.